When I stayed in Lisbon, I took a half an hour train ride to Cascais to have a look at the culture and the arts. It was October, rainy, sultry, but really, really warm. And whilst I was there, I went to the Centre Cultural de Cascais and looked at the, uh, the art of America. It was beautiful to look at, and uh, it's overwhelming seeing all the art in Cascais. It's well worth going to visit. where modern art is influenced by traditional and old. I'm heading back towards the centre of Cascais and I've just come across the art quarter. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but this seems to be an art collective. I'm right in the heart of Portugal and I can hear British voices everywhere, Americans, Germans and uh, other forms of European.
a bit concerned. I went trying to get into a gallery and the lady said if I was over 65, I'd be able to get in free. Hopefully I don't look over 65 yet. It's been a great cultural day in uh, Cascadia and I'm, it's cost me about four euros on the train and I'm going to head back to Lisbon, which will take about three quarters of an hour. Everything in Portugal has been uh, straightforward so far. Funny word, Port Portugal, I say Portugal, almost like Poodle. Um, and uh, the fact is I'm based just outside Case Asadre, uh, train terminal so it's very very easy access to the city center of Lisbon and uh, other uh, other destinations I'm enjoying my time in Lisbon and today's been a total cultural fix. I went to Casadra Cas on a whim. Um, I must say I'm enjoying my time in Lisbon and today's been a total cultural fix going to Cascadia. Uh, I've never been there before and I didn't really read up on it. And it's a beautiful little fishing port um, which has become a major tourist attraction and a lot of uh, new properties going up. A great place to visit. I should think it's fantastic in the summer. I might have to come back again. A bit concerned that I went into the local um, museum and a lady thought I might be about 65 to get him free. Maybe I should have told her I, uh, I was. And then I could have paintbrushed my image later on. Well, on a daily basis, I'm walking absolutely miles. Uh, two days around Lisbon, one in uh, Costa del Prica. So, one thing you have to do in a foreign country is taste the food, drink the beer, and uh, see what. It, see what it tastes and feels like. So during the next few days I think I'll have some squid. It's a bit mind-boggling because I've never had squid before, but it's purely a psychological thing. And today I've just had some roasted chestnuts and they were delicious. And the local beer is fine, but I don't want to drink too much of that. 
It's very sweet. Everything is very sweet down here and it seems to taste of the glucose. So uh, it tastes beautiful, very Moorish. So I've been in Cascadia all day and it's uh, GMT, the same as uh, the UK. I'm just heading back towards Lisbon now. It's been a sort of hazy, foggy day with um, that sort of rain that you get with the fog. The fog and it's been warm and fantastic. So the, uh, the first day I got to Lisbon, I went to... Uh, so the first day I got to Lisbon, I went sightseeing around the town and then the second day I went to Costa Caprica whilst the sun was still fine. A really, really nice sunny day. And then the following day I had another sightseeing tour of the, of the city of Lisbon. And then today I've been to Cascadia, which is a beautiful uh, fishing port just outside Lisbon. So it's taken us about 40 minutes to get from Cascades to Lisbon. And we're just about to enter the station. I'm just going to show you how far the hostel is from the station. It literally is about two minutes walk. the metro, I've not been on the metro yet. I'll uh, go on that before I uh, leave Lisbon later on during the week. So as you leave the station, you, you put your ticket on one of these plates and you should be able to go straight out. So I've just walked out of the station, I'm going to turn right to the top of the street. on the corner and we should find the hostel. And there it is. Right. That was one of the uh, stuff from the hostel. And all you do is press that top button, show your little uh, wrist strap and you're in the building. And I'll show you that another I'm just eating steak with garlic sauce and chips and it's absolutely delicious. And with cheese and bread. And a can of Fanta. Thanks to the people of Portugal for my great stay there. This has been a Chris Summerfield Media Production 2015. You can contact me, sponsor me and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSummerfield at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for a great time.